Hello and welcome back to this video series where we're looking at building an e-commerce platform in 25 days using Next, Netlify and Stripe. So we're in the Next.js section at the moment uh, and in this video we're going to look at how we can route between our different pages. So in the last video we set up this about page and we also set up this uh, welcome page. Um, but we probably don't want to ask our users to uh, go to our website and then if they want to see the about page, they need to type slash about into the URL. <laughs> and then if they want to go to the contact page, they have to sl type slash contact. Obviously, that's a little bit ridiculous and we're not going to ask our users to do that. Uh, we're going to give them some sort of navigation on the page so that they can get to that about page and then back to the home page. So let's head back to our application um, and make sure you're in the pages slash index.js file. Um, and rather than just returning this div, um, we're going to return uh, a little bit more than this. So we're probably going to need a few more lines. Um, and so as we covered in a previous video, if you need multiple lines, uh, you need to wrap it in brackets. Um, and we're going to have this div. Uh, we're going to make this welcome message a h1 because uh, it's a little bit, a little bit more important. We want to, we want to make our users feel really welcome. Awesome. So if we save that, we should see a h1, but everything else should be the same. So just above our h1, we're going to create a new anchor tag, which we can use to link uh, to our slash about page. And then we are just going to add some text there that says about and save that. Okay, so if we click this about link, then we're on the about page. Um, but then we probably want like a home link or something like that to go back to the home page. Um, but if we if we think about other websites that we've interacted with, um, it's probably not very common to just have like a link to the top to go to some page. It's probably more common to have like a nav bar. Like if we look at the Next.js docs, uh, we have this docs page, which is what's highlighted and that's what we're looking at. And then we can go to blog or we can go to analytics or whatever, but this, this top uh, section stays the same no matter what page we're on. So we wanna build a consistent nav bar uh, that's going to allow us to, to go to the different pages that we have in our Next.js app. Okay, so if we head back to our app and back to our home page, we probably want to add a home button to the left of this. Uh, so let's do that in our code. Um, so we can just duplicate this anchor tag. We can make it just go to our root directory and we can say home. And then if we go back here, we have this on this page, but now when we click about, um, it disappears because we've only put it on the home page. And so then if we wanted to have that also on the about page, then we would have to copy and paste all of this stuff across to there. And that's probably not very good practice copying and pasting everything all over the place. Um, so we probably want a way for this this nav bar to appear on every single page, no matter, no matter what page we're navigated to, we want that consistent uh, nav bar to always be there. So Next.js gives us a way to do this uh, with an app component. And so we can access that by creating a new file called underscore app.js. So if we head back over to the Next.js docs, uh, we can do a search here for underscore app.js. And I'm just gonna scroll down to custom app. Um, so this is a page that shows us basically how to how to do this. Um, so the, the app already exists uh, in the background, um, but we can overwrite the default behavior. So add our own, our own customization to it by creating this underscore app.js file um, and copying and pasting in this stuff. There's a whole bunch of commented out code here. So we probably only need the bits that aren't commented. So we're gonna copy that and paste it here. And if this is triggering you, you can uh, turn this into an arrow function pretty easily by saying const app is equal to uh, those parameters and then an arrow on the other side. And then we need to export default my app. And then if we just have a look here, that's all that's at the bottom here as well. So all of this is commented out, which we can use for other things uh, if we find we need it, but this is the only bit that we actually need. So basically what this is doing is this component will wrap any other page level component that we create. Um, so if we're navigated to the, the home page, then this component here is going to be rendering the home page. And if we navigate to our about page, then this component here is going to be rendering our about page. So this is this is one of the magic pieces that uh, that Next.js does for us. So if we wanted to wrap something around that component, uh, we can again do it this way and we can create a fragment outside of this because we're going to be returning multiple uh, siblings at the same level. Whoop. And uh, we can copy and paste our 
navigation logic from this file above our component. Ah, and we will also need our closing rounded bracket. So our return should have an open rounded bracket, closing rounded bracket, uh, and then we've got our markup for our navbar. So now if we head back to our application on our home page, we'll see this home and about. And then if we click on the about page, we'll see home and about. And then if we click back to home, we'll see home and about. Awesome. So this is our consistent nav bar. And inside of our uh, about page, we don't need to know anything about it. We don't need to import a nav bar or anything like that. And inside our index.js file, we don't need to import anything or do anything special. This underscore app.js file is wrapping every one of those components. And so anything that we put above here is going to appear above and anything that we put below here is gonna appear below. So I could create a footer here that says, um, John Myers was here. So if I save that and head back to our app, you'll see that on our home page it says John Myers was here, and on our about page it says John Myers was here. And you see that's rendering below the about page part here and our welcome part here, um, because in the markup of this file, this represents our page component. So this represents what's actually rendering on that page. And we've got our navbar above that, and we've got our footer below. And so that's how it renders in our app. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to cover in this video uh, was just addressing this big white flash that happens every time we click one of these links. So if we click home, everything gets wiped out and then it shows us the home screen. If we click about, everything flashes white and then it shows us the about page. And this is because we're making a fresh request to the server every single time uh, for those pages. Um, so we ask the server, hey, where, what does the about page look like? The server sends us back the about page and then we render it in the browser. So we can actually do that transition client side and not make our users sit there and wait for a full round trip to the server to get that information. Um, Next actually gives us a really convenient way to do this with the link component. So if we head back to our app and go to our underscore app.js file, um, and up the top we are going to import link from next slash link. Um, and this isn't a package that we need to install from npm or anything like that. This is just uh, given to us for free from next. So we're going to do something that might look a little bit weird here, but we're actually going to wrap this anchor tag in our link component. And then we're going to move this href from being on the anchor tag to being on the link tag. And then we're going to do the same thing for the about page. And now when we go back to our app uh, and refresh and navigate between our home page and our about page, you see that content is swapping out dynamically. So there's no big white flash. We're not losing the nav bar and then re-requesting the whole page and then rendering it again. The nav bar is staying consistent and we're just swapping out the bits that actually change on the page. So this welcome to the custom next JS app or the about section. So just to quickly recap, we created this underscore app.js file, and that allowed us to create this consistent navbar that we wanted to show above the content for each of our page components. We then used this link component that's given to us by Next uh, to turn our server-side transitions that were happening on our anchor tags into client-side transitions um, that Next magically does for us. Awesome, we're just scratching the surface of all of the cool stuff that Next gives us. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna look at dynamic routes. I'll see you there.